high hell here in uh, Oslo. The, the party, the opening party is, uh, is in full swing. Um, how do you like the party? Do you have a great night? I like it very much. Mm -hmm. Very much. So um, you had already a few uh, rehearsals, didn't you? How do you feel on the, on the big stage? I feel very comfortable, fortunately, because uh, I think that uh, what is, uh, is uh, special with the stage is that uh, it's not too big. And you feel comfortable and you can, you can feel the audience in front of you, like they are one meter in front of you. So it's quite intimate. Quite intimate, yeah. But nevertheless, 100 million uh, people will see you. Uh, <laughs> is, is, is it putting a sort of pressure on your, so on your shoulder? Oh, uh, you know, of course. Of course. <laughs> I, I'm Did you be nervous? I'm trying not to think about it. Yeah. Till now. Till you told me. <laughs> because um, I don't want to be nervous. But uh, it's one unique opportunity and experience. But in fact, what do you think about when you are performing? What do you think about? Is it just concentrating yourself or is it something else? I think uh, that what is special with, uh, with Milim, with my song in this Eurovision Song Contest, is that uh, it got a personal meaning for me because um, uh, unfortunately I, uh, I lost my grandfather one uh, three days before the pre-selection in Israel. And the, the song is about separation, it's about saying goodbye and that what you have left is words. And every time I sing it, I, I remember him. And it's, uh, it's given me uh, a personal meaning to this song. And it's uh, really exciting and it's really uh, touching my heart, personally. Why should Belgian viewers vote for you? I think should you should use them? I think that Belgian viewers sh should vote for the for their loved song and what they feel that uh, they, they touched the, the song that they that touched them and make them feel and uh, and even cry. Israel has a very big has a very strong Euro song tradition. It's, a very, it's an important Euro song country. Um, on Eurovision? Yeah, it's uh, it's a, you are very important. Israel is has a very big tradition in Eurosong contest. Uh, um, how important is it for you to represent your country? Yeah. I'm very proud to be an Israeli, and I really like people to see uh, uh, the real Israel, the real music in Israel, and we feel that now in this year we are presenting something uh, different from the last years in. Uh, in uh, Israeli music uh, uh, genre, it's different than what we what we sent before, and uh, and I'm I'm very glad to stand on that stage and to say that I'm Israeli and I'm Jewish and it's a, it's a real honor for me. I'm proud. When you see all this, last question. When you see all this, the, the party, the crowd, and so on, um, was is your song? What you what you expected from it? For my song. Is, is, there, is the contest what you expected from it? Did you expect such a, such a big crowd, such a, a, um, a very, very um, big press attendance and so on? Did you expect it? No, they told me that the, it's the big entrance and the big uh, uh, opening uh, party, but I didn't imagine myself so many people and so many press. But it's good, it's nice. It's nice to talk with, uh, with people from all over Europe. It's really, really nice. Thank you. I wish you all the luck. Thank, Thank you very you. much and good luck to uh, Tim Dice. Tom Dice. Tom Dice. Thank you.